Well, hello there, Internet. I'm CST from The Guild of Awesome, and today I'm going to show you how to get every trophy in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, let's do a breakdown of the trophies. First off, there are a ton of unmissable trophies. All of those on screen now are ones that we get just from playing through the game. So, we are going to do two full playthroughs, and we will use chapter select after each playthrough. The first playthrough is going to be on normal. We're going to get all of the collectibles and doing all the possible quests. I'm not going to be showing anything that's not directly needed for a trophy, so I will be skipping over a lot of the main story. After playthrough 1, we're going to use chapter select to go back and beat all of the VR battles. Doing that should also max out our characters. On the second playthrough, we're going to be going through the game on hard. We'll be using the chapter select feature in order to carry out a level and equipment over to the new playthrough. And finally, we'll be using the chapter selection to go back and get the last remaining trophy. Now I need to mention that some of the footage in the video will start skipping. The software for my capture card is not that great and often corrupts the video. I have come back and re-recorded a lot of the broken parts, but there may be a few parts that start skipping. One thing we need to be doing while playing through the game is smashing crates to find Moogle coins. You will need these to buy weapons and manuscripts from Moggy later in the game. So let's begin. First off, we need to learn every weapon ability. So we're going to equip every weapon for every character and use each weapon's ability at most 10 times. We learn Cloud's starting ability straight away. The first boss is the Robo Scorpion. It is pretty easy, but here's some guidance anyway. So first off, use Barret's Lightning Spell as your main attack. You can block most of its attacks, but the only ones you can't block are its Grab Attack and its Tail Laser. If a character gets grabbed, then swap to the other character and attack the Scorpion to get it to release the grabbed character. You'll get a trophy for freeing a bound character, but I'll show a guaranteed way to get that later on. When it activates its barrier, swap to Cloud and attack the robot's field generator. Once the field generator is destroyed, start using lightning spells again. Never seen this defense system before. Sir. Not you are the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? There! Attack it from the rear! I soldier boy! Show me what you got! When these tail laser attacks start, some rubble will fall down from the ceiling, allowing you to take cover. Watch the tail! You don't want to be hit by that laser! Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit! Take cover behind that debris! Not good 
In this final phase, attack different legs to stagger it. Oh hell! What's it doing now? An auto repair unit. Damn it! We gotta take it out quicker with the crew. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Merc. Got a time bar attached just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. Down! Brain hell on it! Ain't gotta tell me twice! Here it comes. Let's do this. You're as good as dead. For one of the intel challenges, we need to reach maximum level with each of the 12 green spell materials. Cloud starts with fire and is given healing by Jesse in chapter 2. In chapter 3, when Tiffa asks to speak to us outside, interact with the jukebox to get Tiffa's theme. Um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. After Cloud's had a sleep and we are heading back to the bar, Head down the side road and talk to this dude to get hip hop to Chocobo. Tell you, man, it's fire! When Tifa is showing us around and we are taken to the item shop, we need to buy the prelude. We can also buy one of the green spells, Lightning Materia. We don't need to buy ice as we can get it for free in just a second. Sure when Tifa first joins us, we need to learn her starting weapons ability, Dive Kick. When we are going to kill the first set of monsters in this area, we can get the free ice spell on the ground over here. You can get a trophy on the Gorges here, if you didn't get it in the previous chapters. So they use a move called Feast, where they jump on a character and this will bind them. You'll need to swap to the other character and either kill or stagger the Gorger. Doing this will get you a trophy. Nothing to it. Once we head back to hand in that quest, we can go downstairs and get a new weapon for Cloud. Why not try that one on for size? Now we're going to do all the side quests for chapter 3. So first off, we're going to speak to Chadley as he's right in front of us. He will ask us to use the accessibility on two different enemies. This is the first of 20 challenges that he will give us, and we're going to do all of them for a trophy. Head into the area where we just fought the monsters, and assess a Gorger and a Were-Rat. I got your number. Cloud! You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. This will unlock three more challenges from Chadley. I'm only going to give an explanation of the challenges, as a lot of them are just do the same thing so many times. So the first one we get is Magic Elements Part 1. For this one we have to use an elemental spell on an enemy that has a weakness to that particular spell. So for example, use Assess on an enemy to learn their weaknesses, and use a corresponding spell. 
you'll need to use each different spell once. So for example, fire, lightning and ice will count as three. Not bad. Once we complete that challenge, we unlock the wind materia. We'll need to level that up for Chadley later on. The Stagger Effect Part 1 requires you to recharge your ATB gauge using the triangle abilities while the enemy is staggered. For this, I recommend staggering an enemy and swapping over to Tifa and using the uppercut attack. It's kind of quite tricky, so I actually recommend waiting until we have Barret, as his triangle attack is much better for this. The Stagger Effect Part 2 requires you to stagger 15 different enemy types, so that means stagger 15 differently named enemies. I also recommend that you use Assess on as many enemies as possible, as learning their weaknesses is key to make the game much easier. We also need to assess 30 different enemies in total for a challenge later on. Now for the remaining side quests. Head on over to the item shop and speak to the owner. You'll ask us to hunt down some doom rats that are in the tunnel opposite the shop. And you, the new merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the doom rats? Them and their were rat buddies have been tearing up town looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. All the items you can want are straight another around hmm. what do you think should we wait you know this might be a waste of time let's head back to the store and touch base for now <clears throat> well that's too much to handle I'm just messing with you. Heard you took out some were rats, which is nice and all, but the job was to wipe up the doom rats. No biggie. Get back out there and finish the job, and we're good. Don't look so glum. It's only a matter of time till they show. You'll get them this time for sure. All the items you can want, straight another day.
nothing to it. Straight from the place. Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. It was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers. And else who listen? Swimming in the Sure. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. 7 Evan, the new working little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. Once the quest is complete, we'll need to buy cleansing materia and level it up for a future challenge. Head on over to the other side of town to find Betty, who will ask us to find free cats for her. Hey! Oh, hey there! Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food, and nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, and they're all cats. I'm looking for cats? They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. What's the source of all this? Might be a good idea to stock up on food. Wait, get some money did you hear that just now? This sucks. Uh, screw this. What's the source of all money? What? They ran away? So, I'm never gonna see them again? You guys! You came back! They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you! Near the tunnel where we fought the rats, there is another side quest, where we'll be asked to kill some drakes that are in the warehouse outside town. Deserved what they got. Hello, hello! Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talager factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talager factory and talk to Nargen. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. I 
was supposed to be worth the top side. You never know. If the planet's a living... Step back. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. This won't take long. Not at all. See ya. That it? Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did ya? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... Now I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? Now head back to the warehouse to find our next quest. I'm sorry, but it's outside our church. Tifa, you won't believe this. A Cerulean Drake flew in from the train graveyard, but these two clowns refused to get off their butts and do anything about it. Hey, is that? It is you, the new Merc. Then maybe you can help us out. The Drake is in the old Telegraph factory over there, but to reach it, you'll need to get a hold of a watch security key. You should be able to find one inside one of the crates. I forget which, just smash them all. It ain't the Merc himself.
Let's end this quick. in this quick. Don't hold back. Those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Never in doubt. And there he is! I knew you were the right man for the job. There's no denying you're the real deal. Not like these idiots with their excuses. Rather have one of you than 20 of them. They're just doing their jobs. Can't expect them to be at your beck and call. What exactly is it you're trying to say, Merc? You need people who can follow orders, too. I see now. Heard you were ex-Shinra. Guess I shouldn't be surprised you'd go to bat for your old buddies. Me? I'm just looking out for my people. All there is to it. Hell with you. We can take care of this town ourselves. No more mercs or Shinra. We'll build up the watch and kick you all out. Now we are going to go back to the train station and buy Barrett's theme from the shop. With my supplies, I'm sure you can do even bigger and better things. Head back to Weimar to get our last quest for now. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, you've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra Mutt gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. Gotta 
I'll do better next time. Promise. Yeah. Me too. Took care of the dog, did you? Phew. We owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> and here I thought you might know something I don't. Well, I guess not. It's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. After completing all the side quests, a discovery will pop up where we will follow Tiffa back to her room. At one point she'll ask what you want her to wear. You have three different options. Pick either sporty or exotic, as the top option, mature, will automatically be chosen if we skip these side quests, and we're going to do just that on our chapter select after the second playthrough. Sometime later, we are left alone in the bar. Interact with the dartboard in the corner, and we need to win the game within six or seven darts. You can replay as many times as you like, so just keep trying until you get it. You can check the leaderboard next to you to see if you're in first place. If you're in first place, you'll get the trophy.
At the end of this chapter, make a save point before speaking to Jesse, in case you don't get the next trophy. So for this minigame, we need to complete it with at least 75% health on your bike remaining. If you get the cutscene at the end, where Jesse kisses Cloud on the cheek, you get the trophy. If you don't get the trophy, load the save we made earlier in the last chapter. Here's a breakdown of the enemies. The white soldiers are really weak and do very little damage. They have three attacks. They can shoot to the side, they can fire backwards, and they also have melee attacks. But your sword has much more reach than they do. So you can just stay at a safe distance while attacking them, while they just swipe at thin air. You can block all of their attacks with your sword. You should also be aware that if you drive into any dead enemies, you will take damage. The red soldiers have more attacks and more health. First off, they can throw grenades in front of you, simply drive to the side to avoid them. They also shoot to the side, but that does very little damage. Just like the white soldiers, they have melee attacks. The drones have two attacks, a small AOE explosion, which you can avoid by driving away from them, and they have a laser that tracks you. You can avoid the laser by driving to the opposite side once the laser is on you. Roach has a bunch of attacks. First off, he can destroy bridges that collapse on you. Drive to the side to avoid damage. In fact, just holding down accelerate should get you past quick enough. He has two attacks when he turns to the side. He can fire a few blasts across the entire track. I hold down block while trying to dodge them. He also has a charged version of this where he fires a single blast straight at you. You can dodge this by driving to the side. When attacking him at melee range, keep a small distance away. Just like the other soldiers, his attack range is not as long as yours. When he speeds ahead with his back wheel in the air, he's about to slam an AoE thunder blast behind him. Again, drive to the side to avoid this. He can pin you against the wall and he does a charged melee attack. You can try to block this, put the brakes on, or use your triangle attack to get invincibility frames. At some point he will drive up on the wall and will start casting lightning. To avoid the lightning, make sure you're driving straight in the middle of the track while he's going up the wall. Then, when the lightning starts coming down, you can just drive right and left to avoid it. If you're not going straight once the lightning starts, then the bolts will be off rhythm and will be much harder to dodge. When he's done being 4, he will slam down on top of you. So for this, make sure you're in the middle of the track when the lightning stops, then move to the side once you see him jump. So far so good! Alright, here comes the hard part! And that is... The fake IDs may have held up, but from this point on, if we get pinged by a scan... They'll come for us. Yeah, what he said. Oh man... Just like that? No need to worry, they've got cloud, remember? Hey, you do know how to drive, right? Soldiers get mandatory training. Well then, you gonna take my breath away? Take my head and spin with your amazing skills? Don't blame me if you get sick. Someone's having fun. How can I not? Pursued by villains. A young couple thrust together by fate race through the neon street night. Get off.
Heads up! Drones! One thing after another. Come on, Wedge. Gun it! I am gunning it! Oh, you're good. Something about this is good. You got me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, then. Do your thing. No, head straight for the warehouse. Aww. Your magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Driving for years. So you don't need a reward? No. The Roach boss fight is super easy. Switch over to Punisher mode and just counter all of his attacks. You can also throw some fireballs when you can to do some extra damage. No escape. Sloppy. <laughs> Any time now. Call your fire. <laughs> I told you we were going to push it past the red line. Get ready. In the blink of an eye. Bird. I see you. Come on, keep me company. Call your fire. In the blink of an eye. I see you. At the end of this chapter, you can find a revival material needed for one of Chadley's challenges. Super duper awesome! When we visit Jess's house, she'll give us the barrier spell. This is another spell we need to level up for Chadley later on. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. While this isn't an actual boss, I'm going to cover it as it does change when we get to hard mode. On normal difficulty, you need to kill a regular ghost before you can damage the enigmatic ghost. When Barrett joins our party, we need to use his Focus Shot ability. Midway through the next chapter, we enter a hallway. The door to the right progresses the story, so instead go down the door straight ahead. Buy the music disc from the vending machine. You can also buy the poison spell here, we will need this for Chadley later on. Now for the Robo Crab Boss. This one is very easy. On phase one, focus on its legs to stagger it, then hit its generator. What do we do? I think you got it. I'll try to find it. Generator. I've got to save 
phase two, take out the sub rays and then attack its weapons. If it electrifies the tracks then run to the sides of the room to avoid the attack. Where are those? More drones. This is where I shot. Zippers don't.
after you beat the boss in this chapter, you get the Metal Knuckles for Tifa. After you shut down the third sun lamp, so that's the second lamp in the second section, you'll be taken back down to the elevators. Power has been restored to the small elevator. We'll use this to cross to the other side and find a music disc at the top of the ladder. Where could they be going? Embarking on an adventure to find some treasure? Ventilation system service mode active. Access maintenance terminal to complete procedure. Once you've got the music disc, interact with the terminal and we are given a challenge. We have to clear the next room of enemies and interact with the terminal at the other side within one minute. If you fail, leave the room and interact with the terminal again, this time you will get an easier challenge. We stop it? Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode. Please complete the maintenance access procedure within the designated time limit. Man, what are we even doing? Coming through. Out our way! Shit. Take me. All Bring it to him from hell! Let me When we get through the door, pick up the materia for a trophy. This is summoning material. Wow. What kind of badass will pop out of this? We'll see. Once you take the elevator back across, make sure to follow me to get the best materia in the game. The elemental materia. This is so goddamn good, so if you equip this for a weapon with either fire, ice or thunder, then your attacks will gain that element. That's all well and good, but the best part is, if you add this to your armour, then depending on the level of the materia, you will receive either reduced damage, become immune to that element, and then finally absorb that particular element. Start levelling this up right now, as it will make some boss fights and hard mode much easier. Uh, you taking a detour? It's up, y'all. At the end of the chapter, Barrett will be given a new weapon, make sure to learn this ability. 